another Fake It and Make It series with me and Mrs C Scraps. Now, today's series is the last one okay it's the last of our challenges because next week we are going to be showing you all of the overall layouts we have designed over the last couple of months so yeah we're gonna do this one as a really big send-off for the amazing amazing series that both me and Ree have done now this week's challenge is slightly different. Basically, you have to create a 12 by 12 layout using a grid, okay? So it can be squares, circles, diamonds, whatever you like, as long as your photos and your embellishments are in a grid format. Now, I have gone for the easy option, okay? I have printed a few photos from my wedding. Hopefully, I will be able to get that to focus but probably because my camera hates me that isn't going to happen there we go so I've got a few photos here I've picked five because I wasn't too sure which ones I wanted but basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to quickly sort through my goodies and basically I've decided that I'm going to literally use as much of my kit as possible because as you can see I've hardly used any of it and I feel really really bad for not doing so and um, I just don't know I don't know how I haven't used so much that's the problem but anyways let's find the papers I can move this out of the way for the moment now today I'm gonna do my overall page on a clear white background because my plan is to have a series of little squares on my page in a grid format okay so something a bit like that with some color in between oh look these are already out for me now my papers are going to be more pinks and greys you could obviously do this with any other colours that you like it's completely up to you and all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these papers up into the same size squares as these I think they are and then I will be right back now I've got a whole heap here of three by three squares in a variety of different colors so what I'm gonna do is zoom you in now apologies that you can't necessarily see my white piece of paper on my white background but the plan is to basically come up with a grid format now as you can tell obviously some of these I haven't cut properly which is fabulous like these for instance like so but basically I'm going to go through all of my photos and I'm going to try and pick out some overall patterns that don't clash with one another and ones that I'm able to obviously place next to one another so something quite similar to that. I'm going to make sure that these are all the right size. And then the plan is I'm actually going to stitch around all of these. So when I get to that stage, I will be back. Ta -da! So I've got the overall layout what I am after. Now I've got a little tape runner here. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to place eventually when the actual glue comes out the tiniest bit of glue directly into the middle and then basically I am going to measure these up and all I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch around all four edges okay so I'm going to stitch all the way through each individual one and then it's time for embellishing that doesn't look too bad so that's a close-up so far now like I said I'm now gonna stitch around all of these and then I will be back Now, as 
just mentioned before, I have got quite a few embellishments left over. So I've got quite a few of my brads left over. So I want to use as many as them. I've also got a few word alphas along with these sets of stickers here which are obviously still pretty full. I've got a few little die cuts from the Becky Higgins collection that I'd like to use and I've also got this entire sticker sheet that I would like to use up especially some of these roses and then in my SOS items I have this whole pack of stickers well they're like a chipboard and then I also have these little bits and pieces here so a few little wood veneers and some washies and all that sort of stuff so the plan is basically if I zoom you in to start to embellish on these individual sets of squares so for instance this one in particular I really really like and I'm going to pop that one there I really really loved this floral so I'm going to try I'm actually going to prop this up on some 3D foam tape just because this is quite flat already and I'd like to bump this up if I can so that's what I'm going to try and do here and I'm going to just take that off the corner slightly because I've still got some of my bits and pieces from the Becky Higgins collection so I'm going to have a sort through here quite like that one <laughs> still got the pineapple oh look I could have used that that would have been handy I might have to chop that down okay I'm gonna chop this one down I reckon might have to chop that one down but I couldn't quite find I think I might have used all the Saturdays up I believe I might have done so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this about today I'm going to chop off the end this side and make this quite skinny because I can and I'm going to place that there just use some of my roller tape and then what I've decided is with my little words I'm going to put love now on one of these I'm going to put she oh I might put lovely on, on there like so and I want to put kind of some more little words there's another one there which is cute I don't know how many more of those I can use so I'm going to put those aside for the moment what other little embellishments have I got oh I've got love you Ooh. which I can definitely use just trying to separate as many of these bits and pieces as I can because I don't want too many clogging up basically so I've got a few little bits and pieces in here so I'm just going to add a few of these where I can. I did have some ridiculously tiny hearts so I'm going to try and poke them down Ooh. as best I can. Such a shame because I really liked these bits, but I'm gonna have to leave them, I reckon. I'm gonna put you are loved. Which 
should I put that on there? No, I'm going to put the You Are Loved here. And if I've got any more little hearts, then I will. I'm going to put the camera. I'm going to put the camera here. But this, this is meant to be like a really fun layout. So basically you can kind of do whatever you like to it. I'm obviously trying to use up as many bits and pieces as I possibly can. And obviously that's my, my doing to try and cover and use up as many of these as I can, like I mentioned previously. Wondered whether, I don't think that's going to fit, so I might have to use the smaller one. But yes, basically I want you to create a layout using a grid format. So however you imagine, but obviously within a grid, and just, just kind of have a play, see what you like, see what you know you end up enjoying the look of and really go to town on it don't worry too much about what it looks like and you know oh do the colors go or anything like that because I'm just gonna kind of plonk and stick and go for it like that and I really liked the florals but I have got one floral already, I like this Be Mine but I think that might be too big as well. There's a little circle here which is really sweet so I'm going to stick this one down. This tape runner is not actually all that good so I might have to pop that one back. It's a shame when the tape runners don't actually tape run does anyone else know what i mean by that like i just can't get it to stick properly it's doing my head in at the moment what else can i add let's try and see whether i can add this array lovely and Ooh. just trying to pick a few little bits oh no let's prop this one up that will work really really nicely on this layout oh guys I really do hope you like this one because I'm enjoying this layout so far <laughs> if you can't tell already apart from the fact that this isn't necessarily sticking as well as I had hoped, which is rather annoying. That's that one. And then I did like this little banner that said, for you, my love. I haven't really got, could possibly put it there, but that one might have to go on a different layout. Now I've got some of these brads left over, so I'm going to use them and as many of them as I possi whoop, possibly can. I want to introduce some more of the greens, so I'm going to do that. These are more of like a turquoise colour, really, really pretty. So I'm just going to add these in here, there and everywhere. I like that one. And I think I need a couple on this one. There's this one that says smile. Which I'm going to stick on this one. Just here, and then make sure I get it the right way round. I did that before and I totally fudged it up. And I struggled to put it in and then I realised that I'd actually put it in upside down, which doesn't help, does it? 
But there's that one. Let's just re-stick that there. And let's put this green one here. Oh. Without trying to destroy it, obviously. Like so. Oh. See what I mean? This tape runner is absolutely pathetic. Which is really rather annoying because I need it to be pretty darn good and it's not. Okay, how are we looking? So I've got two little spaces left. I like the idea of like filling one with words. So I've got, she said, imagine boy. There's, there's not much else I can put on there. I'm going to have to put She Said Imagine Boy. Because that's all I've got. <laughs> and I need something flat, I reckon. I might, just might. No, I don't like that. Okay, I need something else to go in this little section here. What else have I got? Let me have a look-see. Do you know what? I'm going to trim this one down so that I've got the gold and I've got the word love and I might stick a gold heart on it and I'm going to call that done pretty much like that let me just see if there's anything else I can possibly add you know guys you get to the stage and you're like what else can I add is there anything else have we got any other golden hearts oh, I have stick that one there and I have got little tiny heart there now I did want to try and embellish some of the photos but it is a little difficult bearing in mind that I've kind of embellished the rest of the layout I don't obviously want to overdo it now do I so I'm gonna try and just add the tiniest little embellishments to some of the other oh that's the blue one I didn't want a blue one so to the rest of the little sections and if I just place all these to one side, whoa, I think I am done. Yeah, yes, that is the finished layout. I will zoom you right in so you can have a better look at this. Now, obviously I have used several different embellishments here. And, oh, right, I think I'm gonna have to manually focus you because, oh dear. This is not working. Well, hey, there we go. So this is my finished layout. There's a little bit more of a close up of the overall layout. Now, as you can see, I've got quite a lot of chunky bits and pieces on this layout. It is quite full, as you can see there, but when I zoom you out, obviously I've got quite a lot of free space. So that obviously takes away some of the colour that's on the layout. But yeah, I'm really chuffed with that. Oh, go 
guys, I love it. Another one for the wedding album. I love it. Now guys, if you enjoyed this layout just as much as I did, make sure you give it a really, really, really big thumbs up. I would love to get at least 50 thumbs up for this video. So that's going to be my challenge to you guys today, to make sure you give a thumbs up. Obviously, if you do this challenge, definitely use the word, the hashtag, sorry, fake it and make it because obviously we'd love to see your overall outcomes and don't forget to go and check out Re over at Mrs C Scraps her link will be in the description box below because she'll be doing the same challenge as us and yeah oh my god this looks really pretty really girly I love it absolutely love it apart from the fact I'm kind of covered in ink but never mind never mind now guys just to remind you, there is a couple of more days left for my overall giveaway. So if you would like to participate, make sure you go and check the link in the description box below for my giveaway because it ends on the 30th. So don't miss out on a free £25 gift voucher in my giveaway. But guys, that is the end of today's video. I'm really sorry that it went up a little bit later than expected. These photos didn't print on time and like normal my computer was being poop and it wasn't working for me but at least the video is up now. So guys I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like I said hit the thumbs up button and show me how much you enjoyed it. Don't forget to tag us with the hashtag fake it and make it and I will see you all again on Friday. Bye guys. Whoa.